Thank you for watching another episode of TacticalWeapons.com. Today's episode is actually going to be on the different AK options. As many of you know, the uh, Vepper AK series. Uh, this one here is a little harder to find. It's a 45 by 39 blade. And what we're doing is that against the uh, Sega, which is uh, Arsenal AK series. Here's a 762 by 39. And uh, the thing you're going to notice, first off, is the 762 39 blade is significantly lighter. Um, it's actually the materials used in the receiver, um, and this one is significantly heavier. Um, Sighting are very simple, they're all very uh, similar. You can know the overall length of it. You got a flash hider on the end of it, looks like it's probably welded most. Uh, actually, may or may not be. Um, what you're going to notice on this gun is the actions are very smooth. It's a very smooth action. I would say from the action, it's close to the vet. Um, the vet is a little smoother, but not uh, not no scream, not uh, something I would even worry about. You can see it kind of sticks just a hair, but it doesn't affect the operation of the gun at all. And what you do is actually going to shoot these two side by side. Understanding that these are both the uh, newer generation um, AK series, however, when we're doing the actual shoot, we are doing shooting caliber of ammunition, but you're going to notice that the accuracy in both of these is pretty solid. Um, I actually uh, jacked up my elbow yesterday in my Krav Maga class, so we're actually going to be doing everything from a bench fire today versus normally my standing shooting. Um, mainly I can't hold it with my elbow very long. So. What we're going to do is first we're going to go ahead and shoot the left target. We're going to go and use the uh, Sega here. <laughs> Feeling the concussion. This gun will do the same. It's the same caliber. Did I go get a spot in the score? from the target down range. It's actually keeping a pretty solid group. Uh, this is a 20 yard target range. We are using uh, uh, Wolf military style ammo. The uh, accuracy of the gun is good considering the price of what you're getting the gun for. What we're going to do here is actually take the uh, Vepper model. This one's a 545 version.
mic on it. The mic kick a little bit, so I brought it. Huh? As you can see, look at the target downrange. The 545 does keep a tighter group, um, but because uh, you'll actually see the Vepper model, the 545s, um, they haven't made these 545 versions in a while. I've actually paid about two to twenty bucks for this particular model. Um, but you can easily get our Segas. Um, the Segas prices ranging from five to eight hundred dollars. Um, it's actually a very good comparable one that you can get for uh, significantly less. So, if you are in the market for these, these are actually pretty solid. So, anyways, if you have any questions, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com and I hope to see you in a future episode.